Welcome to the Vision Jet, so the Vision Center maintenance hangar. Hop back in 31 Juliet Hotel and head to Indianapolis. Let's go. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Burns' continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Active tower information Delta, weather 1453 Zulu, wind variable of 4, weather spread event 5005, temperature 23, dew point 17, altimeter 3024. Arriving aircraft expect a visual approach, landing and departing runway 5 right, note them, runway 5 left closed, taxiways Bravo 3, Bravo 4, and Bravo 5 are closed, taxiway Bravo is closed between Sierra and Bravo 8. Three back on runway hold short instructions and assigned altitudes. If I sign this contact, you have Delta. Knock for clearance. Uh, Cirrus November 731 Juliet Hotel at the uh, Cirrus Vision Center. November 731 Juliet Hotel, Knock for clearance. And yeah, we're looking for a uh, VFR departure uh, direct uh, kilo uh, India November Delta, that's Indianapolis. Uh, at 8,500. November 731, to the hotel, right standby.
And uh, this is the 4036, the output to the. Um, Sir, right clear for takeoff, turn left heading 350. Clear for takeoff, left 350, come quick, you Plug it serious and I guess it 
and unplug. No, no, uh, no major. Just a fuel flow sensor. No one does that, right? Here's a reason to have um, a personal, relatively fast airplane. Um, we had a trade show in Indianapolis, and I flew up uh, yesterday. I got here exactly when I needed to get. I'll leave exactly when I need to leave uh, to get back home. And um, plane performed great. I do have one little issue that uh, I had to stop at the Knoxville's Vision Center. And unfortunately, Cirrus was not able to fix my niggling problem with my fuel flow sensor. So um, <clears throat> it's not a, this is not a component that's a danger to flight. It just tells me how much fuel I'm using. And so it makes fuel calcs uh, very, you know, a little more difficult. You got to do it the old fashioned way with a calculator or in your head. But um, what I'll probably do is just get the Cirrus down to the Kissimmee, Florida, Sierra Service Center and leave it until they can get this fixed because this has been with me since the day I picked up the plane. If you remember back in the other video, uh, we had that fuel flow uh, sensor problem. And they said, oh, it must be must be the sensor. And then they got in there and said, oh, no, it's not the sensor. It's just the connector that connects the sensor. And that's what they said in Knoxville. And unfortunately, they replaced the sensor anyway. So that tells me 
that either maybe it's the connector or it's something in the software is messing up. I've got a G6 2021. I don't know if it's isolated to this serial number list or, or what, but this just seems hardly possible on a brand new airplane. Anyway, let me know how you feel. I'm going to my trade show. Got my, uh, my necklace here to hold my badge. And, um, you know, it looks like weather's going to be pretty decent. You can see outside. I don't know if you can see out here. But weather and um, the weather is just looking great here in Indy. And let's just hope it stays that way. It was such a fun challenge to push myself and make this flight to Indianapolis. And you know, if make the flight wasn't rewarding enough, there's another event yet to come that would really make it an incredibly memorable one. Several weeks prior to the show, I was asked by the American Society of Plumbing Engineers to attend their awards breakfast. That morning, I was given a coveted industry award commemorating a 37-year contribution to the plumbing industry. I'd soon be stepping away from my company, but wow, what an amazing way to say farewell to the industry that has been so good to me as a manufacturer and a business owner. Do me a favor, like and subscribe. Stay tuned because I've already planned my next career.